Hello, in this video we will be looking at why you should try and avoid downloading files and keeping files in your downloads folder on your Chromebook, the local downloads folder. I'll go through why you shouldn't do it and also I'll show you how you can change it so it's using Google Drive and it's not just changing it so you can use Google Drive, that's pretty easy, but it's changing it so you can use Google Drive but make it much easier for you to get into the habit of using that and there's a few ways you can do that to make it much easier and I think if you follow these steps you will more than likely start using your Google Drive rather than your downloads folder. So the risk of saving into a downloads folder is that, but well, there's a few, you, you, for example, your Chromebook could malfunction and you could lose all your files. That's quite unlikely because the Chromebook is pretty secure. The biggest risk is if you forget your Chromebook password. I've, I've had this myself quite, a, quite about, about maybe a year ago and it is a big, big nightmare. And it's quite easy to do. Your Chromebook password is obviously your Google account password. And you may think it's not something you would forget. But when you, when you consider that once you put in your Google password on your phone, for example, you would never need to put that password in again. And on a Chromebook, yes, every day you would put in that password. But then if you decide to use a PIN, because it's easy to use a PIN to log in every day, you, if you do that for say six months, when it comes to remembering your password, you may be in a situation where you've actually forgot your pass password. So why does this matter? You could say, well, it's easy to recover my Google account password if, if, if it's my account, so I, I could just go in and get it changed. And that is true, you can. However, if you say, if you lost your, if you forgot your password for your Chromebook, and then you went onto your Google account and reset your password, you might think that's all great and you log back in and you put in the password and it will accept the new password. The problem is it will also ask you for your old password. You might be thinking, well, why would it do that? And the reason it's doing that is because all of your files in your downloads folder that are stored locally are encrypted with your old password. So changing your password, even though you've changed it, that doesn't get past the encryption issue because then files are encrypted with the old password. Changing the password doesn't change that fact. So what that means is if you do forget your password and it, it, it's easy to do, it's easier than you think because I would say I'm pretty good at remembering passwords although it is a nightmare all the types of passwords we've got to remember but it is easily done especially if you use a pin for quite some time and then you've just forgot, it, it can be a nightmare. And it will mean that you've lost all of your files in your downloads folder. There's absolute no way you're going to get them back because they are encrypted with the old password. So that's, that's the main reason why I would try and avoid saving files locally. Don't get me wrong, I do save files locally, but I've been looking for a while now how I can try and perhaps back up those files in my downloads folder and there's no easy method unfortunately it's a manual process now we all know with manual processes with all good intentions we'll say we'll do this every month but it's very easy to forget so that's why I think it's much easier to save files in your Google Drive because if you do it that way if you do forget your password it doesn't matter because the only thing what's encrypted with your old password is anything in your local storage. If you've got files in Google Drive, they're, they're, they're fine. They're, they're being encrypted using your, your, your password, not a specific password at a specific time. So it's definitely the best approach. Now, it, I, I appreciate it can be, it's not necessarily easy to do. So I've found, which I think is a pretty good way of making you perhaps do it and continue to use it. So I'll show you that now. We need to go over to the computer and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are on the Chromebook desktop. There's two parts we need to do. The first part doesn't really fix the issue, I don't think. So first of all, if we go to My Files and we go to Downloads, I don't have any. Now that's only because, and it's good that I don't, but I'm not gonna deny it, I normally do. Um, but it's because I had to reset my Chromebox when I wanted to take it out of developer mode. Um, so I put all of my download, apart from this folder here, I put all of my folders, download folder files in Google Drive, and I just called it that. But I'm going to rename that file to 
I don't want to just call it downloads because then how would you differentiate that from your local down, downloads? I'm going to call it downloads um, drive. Let's call it that. Okay, so that's now there. And if we go into there, that is all of my downloaded files, what I would have had normally in my downloads folder. So the first thing we need to do is to get it so when you download files, they save in that folder. So go to there and settings and go to advanced and you need to go to downloads. Now here, I'm not, I'm just going to leave this. It's at the moment, it's my files downloads. So I'm going to change that. And I'm going to go to Google Drive and I'm going to click on that downloads drive. Now this is a really important part. When you click on there, you'll be able to see up here, it's got available offline. I'm gonna leave that off. If I put that on, and I think by default it goes on, so you might have to check that when you do this. If I left that on, what it would do is any of the files in that downloads drive folder on Google Drive, it would sync onto my Chromebook. So essentially it's taking up your Chromebook space. Now, what, which way you want to do it is entirely up to you, because if you did save your files in your local downloads folder, it would take up your file space anyway. So by doing available offline, that's doing exactly the same thing, but it's still keeping all your files in Google Drive. It's up to you, but I'm gonna keep that off. So just bear that in mind. So downloads drive, click on that. So now it will save to there. So if I close that, and, but this is only one part of the fix. So that's that. So say if we wanted to download something, let's just do an image. I won't keep it, but just download it quickly for now. Save image. And as you can see, because it, it's asking me where I want to save it, you can turn that off so it doesn't ask you, so it just automatically does. Instead of going to download locally, it's gone to my downloads drive there. Press save and that's done. Now that's all very well and good, but the only issue you've got is when you go then to my files, you naturally just go to downloads, don't you? And then if you wanted to, you'd have to go to downloads drive. So it's easy to forget. So the best thing to do is to go into your Google Drive, find the downloads folder there, downloads drive, right click on it, and then put pin folder. And then you'll see it put it up here. And that will make it so much easier because then in the future, whenever you download files, because they're not going to be in your local downloads, you'd be like, oh, right, it's in my Google Drive and what did I call it? And it's just an extra step. So if you get used to the fact that in the future, it doesn't matter if you turn your Chromebook off or not, it will always be there that your downloads, forget this here, your local one, just try and use this one. And then this is all saved in the cloud rather than locally. And like I've already said, the advantages are so much better. It's, you're not gonna run the risk of losing your files if you forget your password. Obviously you need to consider that the, the tab that I showed you where it says available online offline, that's something you'll have to decide yourself. If you don't want to take up a lot of local storage, keep it off. If you do want to, because some of the files are video files perhaps, and you just want to get quick access to them, then put it on. But I hope that video has helped, and I, I'm going to definitely try and use it going forward. Um, obviously, it will use up your Google Drive space, but I think it's much better than storing it locally because there's so many things that can go wrong. So I, I hope the video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.